All right. Good morning, boys and girls, moms and dads, Karen's and Chad's. We're here at Happy Haven waiting for the millennial turkeys turkeys. I'm wondering if uh, we're going to get to meet old Glarius Borkinskaya uh, face to face today. I suspect that if they show, he's going to come here laughing and laughing and laughing at what a fat faggot I am and all this happy horse shit. And uh, I'll listen for a while and think about what I'll say back. And then I'll say uh, bye and have him escorted off the property. Howdy. We're streaming live. Uh, noon is the appointed hour. He's obviously not going to show. Uh, I haven't I haven't texted your your boss yet. Have you talked to him? No. He's on his phone right now. I've got text him on phone. Maybe he has a phone yet. Oh, maybe by now he's got the phone on. Mm -hmm. It might have been too early. Mm -hmm. But that's his cell number. Yeah. He's got that phone in his hand. That's not the office phone. Yeah. I'll I'll wait because like if it's all bullshit. There's no point in paying you guys fifty dollars an hour, right? Especially like to have you here full time for next week. Check for it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you guys do a weekly rate. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a really like dumbass job <laughs> compared to what you're done. This has got to be the most dumbass one of all. That is not that. If they got a vehicle, they're, well, I have no telling. Um, one flew in and two supposedly drove in. And I got confirmation that uh, the crew that's running this hotel, they've got a lot of satellite access. I don't know if that's true. He just claimed it. Nobody's shown me any, you know, but I I, I told him uh, early this morning, you know, when I first came out, I come out, I stretched a little bit, and I practiced, you know, to get beat up on. <laughs> and uh, just a little bit, and then walked over here and talked to one of the ladies over here. And I told him that, and uh, he knows what, what I had been doing. But none of them, but, you know, I, you know, they're, they're like, ah, let's prove it. I mean, you know, prove, prove that you know, you know, prove that you're watching. You know, we, we took a walk. They put, you know, one of the new Chinese saying he was already here when we went for the walk. So I don't think he's even here. So, uh, Suburban Bastard, tell me how the sound is, okay? Is the sound clear or is it chipmunk? Sound check, sound check. Somebody please comment. Rock and roll. Coho. Woo. Ah. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm the cosmic comedian. They called me Crazy Tommy when I was a kid, no, a young adult, you know, when I was out in it. You know, excuse me, but I'm kind of like, um, this, uh, I was Crazy Tommy when I was a young adult. I had a penetrating accident at night.
But now you're sitting right here for two and four. Would you like Would you like a Comey's pair? This was my last. King of Pairs, the Queen of Pairs. I, uh, this is my, the last, last present on earth from my parents. And the prayer, the prayer for the fruits. Everybody knows the prayer, for, you know, the, our, our prayer for the fruits of the vine. As Baruch Hatan and I, Alhenu Melat Halam, Bore Priha Gulfin, which is when we drink the wine. The prayer for the fruits of the tree is Baruch Hatan and I, Alhenu Melat Halam, Bore Priha Eitz. You know, blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the Universe, who has given us the who's blessed who's given us the fruits of the tree. And then you don't say anything. You say amen. Nothing, you know, once you say that and amen, then you don't say anything until you eat it. You gotta take your bite. <laughs> You're going to need to not do that ever again. You're working for me! Okay. Park it.
text now subscriber you were trying to reach is not available. He's not answering. He's not answering. You you need to like stay out of my interactions until I call you info, please. I still have No. If there's any interactions, I you're here. you're here, but under my command, you yes. will not move again. I didn't I have, you interfered with that conversation. You tried to get into Lena. No, no. Let me tell you something. No, no. Let, Let me, me tell, tell you something. something. Let me tell you something. There is nothing you can tell me. Your employer needs to call me. I just tried to call him. Okay. I. I will also be calling the FBI and the police I right am. now. But you going in there? Do we need no? You can. You are not here to tell me what to do. That was not what you were hired for do me, to do. I keep it safe for you here. Okay. That is not what you were hired to do. Get your boss to call me. I can't get through on the phone. I can't believe you did that. He just, you know, I was trying to. It's two two o two South Fifth Avenue, and it's not an emergency. Can you repeat that for me? Say again. Can you repeat that for me? Echo in the line. Two two. Address of your emergency. Non emergency call two two zero two South Fifth Avenue, and I would refer prefer a phone response as soon as possible from Officer McCoy or Sergeant Pike or whoever is the watch commander in SCPD right now. Okay, what's going on? That's not for me to say. This is an ongoing call. I'm calling okay. from a, I'm calling. I have an idea of what's going on. So we can what's going on? There's a terrorist threat report that was filed starting July something. The terrorists are claiming to be in the area with the location under surveillance. I do not need a dispatch, but I do need to conference with somebody in the Tucson police and the South Tucson police. Please. What's your name? I'd rather not say thank you. Well, I'll tell the officer, you're just the stinking dispatcher. Move this call along, please, son. Okay, thank you, sir. Have a good day. Who and he hung up? Error. Um, this is Tony Wasserberg calling from 2202 South 5th Avenue, and I would like to complain about the agent who just hung up on me rather than transfer the call. Okay, what were you calling about? I'm calling about an ongoing terrorist, uh, uh, it, uh, how, what, what's the right word? Um, I'm I'm targeted by a, a, a team of terrorists, and they're like got me under surveillance right now, according to the intelligence that I have on it. And I need to conference with uh, whoever the you know the, 
the officer that took you know took the report last night about getting ready to you know do it today is McCoy with South Tucson Police. The sergeant that requested federal intervention was Sergeant Pike. Anything beyond that, I don't know, ma'am. So please don't ask me. Do you want me to send somebody back out to you? Well, no, I'd prefer a phone contact. But yeah, if somebody wants to come by, that's cool too. Okay. I'll go ahead and let our Yeah, we're, we're, talk, we're talking, uh, you know, terrorists have me under surveillance with a threat of assault. You know, to put it in simplest what? terms. What was your name one more time? Tommy, T O M M I E, Wasserberg. W A S S E R B E R G, and I want to put in a formal complaint about the call three hours prior to this one. That guy needs to be retrained or 520 241 2776. I'm serious. You know, please, um, I want to hear, I want a response about, you know, I mean, if you can't do it, you can just hand me off to the call center supervisor for now, and I'll put the complaint in with them. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Yeah, that guy was totally inappropriate the way he handled the call. Uh, I think it's blurring time. It's getting a little jittery. I think it's a 3,000 <laughs> 3, milligram day. Okay, that's all right. Not a problem. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? Hi, who's this? This is Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Um, whoever picked up the phone before me, before this this last agent, you, you, you listened to the tape. He was totally inappropriate. And he hung up on me instead of transferring the call. And he called me sir. Gotcha. Now, I, you know, yeah, I know I sound like a guy, but excuse me, y'all should know by now who this is. <laughs> okay, I know you are. Yeah. I've been talking to you plenty of times. Right. Usually we get along. Well, I, I'm, I'm easy to redirect, but not with your, like, being stupid. If you to get stuck on stupid, forget it. And that's what this guy did. Yeah. No, I mean, it's just my nature. It's, you know, I got a double funny hand, and I'm playing it. <laughs> I'm 67 years old. I've never killed anybody. I've never hurt anybody worse than they needed to get hurt. And we have a situation that's, you know, it's a, this a live terrorist threat going on and I don't even know if these guys are actually even in town and it's not just a huge prank because the police are not being transparent enough. Okay, so I won't waste your time because I'm I'm if I'm talking I'm gonna be rambling right now because I'm so amped up. And I, I just I got you, yeah. yeah I just wanted I just wanted to let you know that hey that guy needs a little bit of talking to for the way he handled the call. I can go and get it handled before you tell me we'll see if I can get you know further coaching. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't have to, you know, don't have to get too crazy. It just, he, you know, he made some, you know, he made some real important errors on, you know, de-escalating somebody who's, like, agitated and totally yeah. as, assumed, as, you, know, you, you really should lose the sir and ma'am completely. Find something else. Altogether, don't ever call anybody sir or ma'am. It is the 21st century, right? And that's why, sir and ma'am, are about military and slavery. You know, I tell people, you know, that when I tell, you know, someone calls me sir, I said, please don't call me sir. I'm not, I'm not a guy. It's okay, ma'am. I said, I really, really, you wouldn't call me ma'am either, unless you want to snap your attention. <laughs> Got me a salute. Yeah, yeah I'm Tommy. Thanks, Kelsey. Yeah. Happy day, man. Uh, did you did you 
Well, I don't know. Uh, I haven't heard. You know, I hired a, I hired a private bodyguard, and the dude just interfered with an interaction with my landlord, and I can't get hold of his boss. And then he's trying to lecture me. It's like, yo, dude, I didn't hire you to, <laughs> to, to, to tell me what to do. I hired you to do what I tell you to do. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, if I, I don't re I personally don't need them, but maybe for the show. And if it's not too busy, yeah, sure. Okay. All right. I can. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll take the sergeant out there for South Tucson. Uh huh. And then uh, we'll see. He'll probably decide whether he's got the units to can you know swing by and say hi. Take yeah. that order, check on it, make sure it's like, good. But right. Other well, than that, uh, we are here for you, Tommy. No, I know, I know. The thing of it is, like I said, I have no way of knowing if this isn't an elaborate prank or not, because the FBI has been so reticent. The officer McCoy last night, I, I, you know, stopped, you know, before she left. It's like, please, you got, you know, I showed her the thing. There was a, a, a Supplemental note from Sergeant Pike recommending, because of the nature of the threat, that they go to the feds. And but he, why didn't he do it himself? And, and the same with McCoy. It's like okay, well, okay, I will, but I don't know if she did. So I would like to know that. I want to know what the feds know about this. You should know what the feds know about this at this point. It's been going on for fucking years. It's cost. It's, it's cost. Yeah, but it, you know, two, two, the two 9/11 pranks and all these calls. That's got to be fifty thousand dollars. This has cost the, the city of Tucson. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, they call. I don't know what they. I don't know what kind of alarm they turned in. But a whole stinking battalion of fire trucks showed up the first time. And I asked the cabin, he said, that's about $25,000, $30,000 right there. I think probably the best way to know what they're all kind of looking at, what they're doing, is to do one of those FOIA requests. Who requests? And then they'll, yeah, FOIA. Oh, yeah, FOIA. Yes and no. Um, they will, in my experience, I mean, they, they, they blew off. They totally lied to Raul Rialvo and blew him off. Um, I've heard people that they just, just like, nah, fuck you, we don't. I think uh, they, with it, Grialvo, um, they, <laughs> They tell them that it's, uh, uh, what is it? I don't know. They, I forget what it was, but oh, yeah. It's like uh, they tried to lay me off as like a chicken little that's been bitching about it since 1999 when I didn't make my first contact with them until 2001. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's, you know, conspiracy theorists and fake news and, uh, the big lie, Operation Mockingbird, and people like me are have been I've been targeted since 1970. That shoot me to get me off the bed of beats in 1987. Anyway, thanks. Hey, look me up. I can't. Come play with me. I I'm, I'm I'm just you know I'm just I'm just a point guard. I'm a point dog, that's all I know. Got a lot of cool friends. <laughs> I got you. Happy day, Kelly. Bye bye. I'm not your buddy, pal. Sorry about that, Tommy. Sister, girlfriend. Yeah, when I know. Yeah, and it's so hard. I think it's you know, it's so when when you meet me in person. It's it's easy to see what's going on, but over the phone it just sounds like a man getting all crazy. I am. Happy day. Thank you, Tommy. Have a good rest thank, of day. thank you. You too. Bye bye.
Okay, where the fuck is my flute? What did I do with my flute? 